hey guys welcome back so guys in this video we are going to start about the coupon code system okay so let's begin with that so for that we need to create some coupon code table design for it so i have just planned over here and displayed into a notepad so guys now let's build this in our application with the migration thing so first let's open a terminal and create a migration table for it okay so let's type php artisan artisan make colon migration where create underscore c o u p o n s coupons table okay and hit enter migration created migration so let's go to database and check that database migration at the last let's make sure yes okay check with this table done let's just make it small this so now let's create the table so what are the fields require okay so over here you can see the id is default and what the other things we required that we have to call that so first let us call offer name which will be of showing the description about it so let's copy that and get back dollar table of string where you are going to add that okay so let me just finish with this so guys this is the detail about to show the coupon codes so over here you can see that offer name product id if required then only we'll give or else we will set it to default zero and then your coupon code and this is the limit so limit means like i want to give only five times it should be accessed so that is a coupon limit and coupon type this will be in your percentage wise for example to say i have just explained in this you can see that it might be amount or percentage select the amount type or percentage type for example if we select percentage then the you have to give the 5% over here if it is amount then you have to give 5 rupees over here okay and then start date and end date which will be about the coupon starting and ending so end date means expiry date let's continue where status so this status is nothing but to show that if the coupon is blocked or not so for that i have shown over here zero is not blocked one is blocked and visibility status this is for showing on the website some users like to show the coupon code on the user interface like front page on the nav bar so as i mean to say like let me just browse with it okay on the website like the like to show on this coupon code get offer on this coupon code use this coupon code if you want to show on the front end for that time at that time we are going to use this visibility status okay so zero will be as shown one will be as hidden show on the website on anywhere either on your checkout page or somewhere else so guys now let's get back to a code so this was the planning for your coupon code table structure database structure so guys now let's migrate this into our database so let's type php artisan migrate hit enter so it's migrated now once migrated now let's create a model for it okay let me minimize and php artisan make colon model where i want to go inside models folder m o d e l s let me make it to top so you can see that models folder inside models folder i want this coupon should be there so give forward slash c o u p o n coupon and hit enter so let's click on it and your coupon will be created so model created you can see that model coupon dot php let's minimize this below and over here let us save so now let's connect with our database to here let's go to a browser and here it is so you can see that coupons table 
let's copy this so before copying that we have to call that so let's call that protected protected dollar table is equal to inside single quotes you are going to call your table name which you have created copy that and then paste coupons table and then protected dollar fillables is equal to let's call all the columns what are the columns you have done with that okay except your id and your created and updated just ignore that and call all your fields over here right and then so let me just finish with it guys so guys finally i have just completed with it and now let us create a controller and call the page on this page okay on this browser so we need to create one simple page and we will be get to started with it so let's get back and now let's create a controller so php artisan make colon controller where i'm going to create inside admin folder forward slash and give your c-o-u-p-o-n coupon controller okay so i have misspelled controller and let's hit enter let's go in our http controller admin where you can see coupon controller done so this is for admin purpose so for this over here we are going to create that page so let's open public function where index function and inside this you are going to return view we are going to call the inside admin folder i am going to coupon folder dot index blade file so let's create this folder into your resource let's go resource views admin inside this admin i'm going to create one new folder called coupon and inside this coupon one blade file let's create that index dot blade dot php not comma it's dot okay let's hit enter and over here you are on the page so for let's extend all the things what we required over there so let me just copy this index page to extend that let's copy this extension and end section that's it over here we'll tell c o u p o n coupon code page okay let's save this and now let's see the output of it so before going to this we have to call this controller right so let's go to our route and set that first let's move to our routes web.php and we are a admin right so for that we'll go on to our admin middleware so middleware where is admin where i'm going at the below and here i'm going to start with c o u p o n coupon code system route colon get function and inside this you are going to create a url so i have just already created the url with this menu let me click on it okay admin coupon view i have created let's get back and paste that over here as simple you can keep this or else remove that or else you can add your prefix also with this help so let's get back and go to a coupon controller so let me just copy this controller name and pass at the index at index simple and let's get back view the page so page should be viewed okay class coupon controller does not exist why because it's inside the admin folder so let's give admin then backslash and again reload this page okay cool so you can see coupon code page has come so guys now let's create a simple form to insert the coupon data so let's get started with it so let's move on our index page okay 
and let me just replace with h5 tag and inside this i want to create one a tag where you will mention as add cou po and coupon okay let's give a class and design the button button small button primary and let's give hash over here float right done let's view the output okay so you can see the button so i want when i click on this a pop-up model should open so guys we are using bootstrap 4 so we'll use the model you can just search model and get to this page okay and then let's copy the model so live demo let's close this and i want to take this copy and paste over here let me just minimize this sidebar and this is my coupon model save and let's copy the model from below copy and paste above this container and now let's design the form so before designing let me just change the title add coupon and this model will make it to model large size and let's change the id which we have created let's copy this and change the id over there that's it save and make this button small and make the above also button small save and let's see the output first get back of this let me just close this let's get back and refresh the page okay. let's click on it here you can see the form has come so guys now let's design the input box and all as per the requirement of coupon table okay so let's enter all these details over here so product id so let me just design with that let's go over here and let's start it i have already designed the form and let me just paste that over here let's close this terminal not required right now as simple guys you can see that one offer name and then select box to check with the product that is optional and coming back to coupon code and then coupon limit coupon type coupon price start date time and end date time over here then status which will be checkbox and visibility status checkbox so you can see that condition i have given over here let's save this and as simple let's get back and check the output of it let's refresh click on add coupon you can see the form design has come so guys over here you need to select with your product okay all your product list should be shown here so we will be using one select two drop down box to search and get the data into it as simple so let's get over here select two jquery let's click on it and you can find something like this okay so let's click on installation we will use cdn link and start the code so this is the link let's copy this get back and paste into your form so let us include that let's go to here and let's link that this is for select and then for below ja javascript jquery link over here let's copy the script tag of select to and paste now what we need to do let's get back to over here and start the code about it we successfully copied let's go to basic usage and check how it's working so you can see in the second option where you can find all the details so when you select with that whatever you search it will come like that okay as simple so let's use this same way let's copy this code call document this one and get back let's go to our script tag over there and paste so make sure you are pasting in script tag 
paste it over here let's give small name select two products will give copy this and mention in your select box over here inside this class save and let's check that get back refresh so guys you can see that option for selecting all the details like that we are getting right so let's just make it to 100% this just inspect and check with your CSS so let me do that okay so here is the class so this select to container let's copy this and just give over there okay so let's get back and just mention in your inline css only directly or else you can add that oops add it into your this css file or else just add over here let's mention that and give width colon 100 percent that is important that's it save let's get back to index page and let's refresh let's check the output now let's click on open you can see that okay so guys we have done with this completed the form design of our coupon and let's see you next video guys about how to insert and manage all this coupons data so thank you for watching this video please subscribe like and share